Hunt that are coming over from in that left side. Here's Bill Hunt again. Taking on defenders like he did last week. Pulls it back to Michelotto, but the pass was... Bill Hart is down in the box. That's got to be a concern. <sighs> Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I honestly never thought that I have to make a video of that kind in any shape or form, but as many of you probably have seen on Instagram or on social media, I tore my ACL in my last match this Saturday against Richmond Kickers. I just got the MRI back yesterday, um, which showed that it is completely torn. I got subbed out in the 20th minute of the game, I think, or I know I hyperextended my knee while I was trying to, to make a pass. I don't really think the, the opponent touched me that much. I think I just placed my foot wrong and he gave me a little bump from the back. So I, I hyperextended my knee. The good thing is that my MCL and my meniscus are in good shape. They're not damaged, which means the recovery process um, is much faster than if they would have be damaged as well. So from that point of view, it's pretty good. I have also a good range of motion and yeah, there's not much swelling also on my left knee, which means um, I can get the surgery um, yeah, as fast as possible. I probably will see the doctor within the next couple weeks. Once I got my range of motion completely back, he will approve me for the surgery, which will then follow um, yeah, within one or two weeks as well. So. That should all go pretty fast. Um, obviously, I'm out for the entire season. Um, the ACL injuries are pretty long. One of the worst injuries that a soccer player could have, which, yeah, is pretty devastating, but obviously I try to stay positive. Um, the good thing is, as I said, um, the knee is not in the worst shape. We can get surgery as fast as possible. And um, yeah, then we go from there. As of right now, it's just taking it day by day, staying positive, and um, yeah, trying to see what I can do to get back to where I was as fast as I can. In terms of the recovery process, um, it will probably take me six to eight months of recovery, getting the strength back into my knee, into my leg, and making sure it is yeah ready for playing soccer again. In terms of the timeline or the timing of this injury, it's honestly not the worst. Obviously, I know I'll be out for the season, which sucks, but um, there's no need to rush my recovery process. I'll be done by the end of this year, which still gives me about one or two months to get fully ready um, to start the next season. I think it will be, it will be more of a mental aspect to stay positive every single day to keep pushing myself and um, yeah, I know for a fact that in the long run this whole injury will make me mentally much much stronger um, than where I was. It will obviously take me a couple days to fully realize what this injury really means to me and I'm still in the process of gathering my thoughts and emotions. i um, been talking to my family and friends a lot to, to get some mental support but yeah. There's also opportunity in all the sadness there is right now. I want to document my whole recovery process, um, get as much content out as I can so you guys can see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, um, what I do to get back in shape as fast as I can. And obviously, finally, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for supporting my journey so far. Um, also, yesterday when I posted on social media, I, re I received a lot of messages from you guys just wishing me all the best, um, yeah, feeling with me, and that, yeah, means a lot to me. Honestly, I couldn't ask for for a better, yeah, support. Um, I know I have a lot of people behind me, which keeps me positive, and um, yeah, I know I'll be back stronger. So that's it for now. Um, obviously, not the best news, but yeah, I try to keep you guys updated on how it's going. Take care, guys. Stay healthy and see you guys in the next video.